Okay, this is the scientific notation video, uh, basically going over how to put numbers into scientific notation and take them out of scientific notation. So let's go ahead and again start with an example. We've got 123 million. Okay, we want to put that number into scientific notation. Step number one, you're going to determine the base number. And the base number has to be between 1 and 9.9. .9. Okay, must be between 1, uh, 1.0, and 9.9. .9. So basically between 1 and 10. Uh, anything below that and your decimal point has to uh, move again. Anything above 10 or anything above 9.9. .9, and you're going to have to, uh, again, move your decimal one more place. Um, <clears throat> So, step number two. Step number two is to uh, determine the exponent. All right? Uh, count the number of places from the old decimal to the new decimal. Okay. Uh, and then finally, step number three, all right, step number three is you're going to determine if your exponent is positive or negative. So, determine whether exponent is positive or negative. And the way we do that is if we move our decimal to the left, it's going to be positive. Okay, so decimal to left equals positive. And if the decimal is moved to the right, it's negative. Okay, so let's look at our example. We'll look at it up here on the top right. 123 million. Okay, we're going to determine our base number. Okay, where would we move our decimal in order to get a base number between 1 and uh, basically 10? So 1, 2, 3, 4. You know, if we moved our decimal here, that base number is 12.3. That's higher than 10 or higher than 9.9. .9, so we got to move it again. So now our base number is 1.23. All right, so our base number is 1.23. Now we're going to determine the exponent. How many times did we move it? Well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We moved it 8. So 10 to the 8. Okay? And then determine whether it's positive or negative. We moved our decimal to the left, so it's going to be positive. So our, our scientific notation number here is going to be 1.23, that's our base number, times 10 to the positive 8. Okay, let's do an example. Let's do another example, I should say. All right. Um, <clears throat> 0 0.00540. All right. Now, uh, where do we need to put our decimal in order to get that base number between uh, 1.0 and 9.9? .9? And the answer is between the 5 and the 4 there, because that gives us a number of 5.40. So our base number is 5.40, okay? Uh, and then times 10, what's our exponent? Well, we moved it 1, 2, 3 places. So it's times 10 to the 3rd. And then we moved it to the right. Okay, so when we move the decimal to the right, the exponent is negative. So our answer here is 5.40 times 10 to the negative third. Okay. Uh, let's do another one. 0 .00000008. 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 
Okay. We need to figure out what our base number is going to be. So we are going to put our decimal right there after the 8. Because that makes our base number 8. All right. Then we need to figure out how many times we moved our decimal. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 places. So times 10 to the 8. And again, we moved it from left to right. We moved our decimal to the right. So our exponent is going to be negative. Um, <clears throat> let's do one more, and then I'll, I'll discuss something with the answers. Uh, last example here, we have... Uh, 438,904. Actually, let's add some zeros just for fun. Okay. So we are going to uh, put our decimal, our new decimal, uh, between the 4 and the 3 over here to make our base number 4.38904. 4.38904. Okay. How many times did we have to move our decimal to get there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 times 10 to the 8. And because we moved our decimal to the left, uh, it's going to stay positive. So 4.38904 times 10 to the 8 is our answer. Now, you may be asking yourself, why did we put so many decimal places there? Well, you have to have, okay, Here's our little, little asterisk. You have to maintain the same number of significant figures in the answer. Okay, so in this first example, we ended up with we started out with three significant figures, and we ended up with three significant figures. Uh, in example two, we had one significant figure, and again, we have one significant figure in our answer. And then in our final, we had six significant figures, and we needed six significant figures in our answer. Okay, so we have to maintain the same number of significant figures as a, in our answer as we had in our original number. Okay, so let's talk about putting numbers into uh, standard notation or getting them out of scientific notation. Okay, uh, so we've got 5.4 times 10 to the third. Okay, so we need to move our decimal. Okay, so step one, a little example. Step one, you're going to move the decimal, same number of places as the exponent. Okay? So our exponent is 3, so we're going to have to move this decimal three places. We just don't know where yet, to the left or to the right. Step number two is we're going to determine left or right. Okay? If the exponent is positive, we're going to move the decimal to the right. Okay. And if the exponent is negative, we're going to move the decimal to the left. Okay, so 5.4 times 10 to the third, our uh, exponent is positive. Okay, so we'll put our down here 5.4 uh, times 10 to the third. So we're going to move our decimal three places to the right. One, two, three. We fill in our zeros, okay, fill in our missing areas with zeros, and our answer here is 5,400. Okay. Do another example. 6.83 times 10 to the negative 6. Okay, so we're going to move the decimal six places. And because it's negative, we're going to move our decimal to the left. So 
one, two, three, four, five, six. There's our new decimal. Fill these in with zeros. Our new answer is point five zeros. Okay, zero, 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 six, eight, three. Okay. Let's do one more example here. Uh, 1.8 times 10 to the negative fourth. Okay? Times 10 to the negative fourth. So again, we're going to move our decimal four places. Okay? And because it's negative, we're going to move it to the left. One, two, three, four. There's our decimal. There's our uh, filled in zeros. And our answer is 0 0.00018. Okay? Whatever the number of significant figures is in this number, again, has to be in this number. Okay, so in our first example up here, 6.38 or 6.83, we had three significant figures. And in our answer here, we have three significant figures. Okay, the rule still applies. That is uh, scientific notation, putting numbers into and taking them out of scientific notation.